Hey, Twitter world. Don't pet the llama. A pan-gender octopus who roams the cosmos in search of love. I'm never going to look at butt plugs the same. Apparently, ducks are rapists. I'm really uncomfortable with this conversation. What industry would you say is probably most affected in a positive way and most affected in a negative way? What um, most most positive. Um, it's the obvious ones. It's Zoom. Um, their their video conference calls. I mean, nowadays you can't you can't scroll three posts on Facebook without seeing something about Zoom. Yeah, exactly. Um, whether it be a class or a conference call for work or something, that that to me is the most uh, prudent one. That kind of stands out the most. Um, there, there's a few others, I'm sure. Um, so more like tech. Um, at home, like kind of that kind of stuff, right? I mean, because anything in place, like bars, venues, you know, stand uh, comedy clubs, anything like that. Yeah, that requires the down. crowd. It yeah, requires a crowd. You know, so yeah, it does. Um, I think around here um, where we live, we're all doing a pretty good job of keeping the local businesses afloat. Too, which is good to see. I like seeing community come together and, and support local businesses and stuff. Um, instead of going through with like the uh, like the Applebee's and stuff like that, where they have yeah. their carry out and stuff, it's kind of nice and refreshing to see people actually giving a shit. Yeah, um, and I've like heard a caring lot of, about the local economy. Yeah, like a lot of places that um, you know have like not even just like right around here locally, but. I've heard of a lot of places, even like places in New York, where there's restaurants that yeah. it's hard to get a table and it's hard, you know, all this. They're doing delivery now. And so yep. that brings another aspect to their business. You yeah. Know? Uh, yep. Which is awesome. Exactly. And I mean, but at the same time, like you're still, there's still people out there. And I, you know, I'm one of them, you know, working in the grocery store and doing all that stuff. It's right. like on the front lines. Um, according to everyone who I think I told you about this, but people have been <laughs> yeah, saying thank you for your thank you. service. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. And I am, I, I, I will accept it, but I will be offended if they don't salute me at the same time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, do now I get dog how, tags? That's what I want to know. Now you know how awkward it is when someone <laughs> says it to you and you're not ready for it. You're like, oh, wait, what? What did they do? <laughs> yeah, you're like, uh, what kind of service? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even I don't even know what to say anymore. I just kind of smirk yeah. and just go along with my day. I'm gonna start saying hoorah. <laughs> hoorah. Well, I just hoorah. I just like the fact that like so we're totally closed off from the public now, but we're still working. We're just alternating what weeks we come in, so that's not a lot of people in the building. So I would work this yeah, week, so then next week I'm out with my other coworker in the same department, she'll work. But we installed glass barricades that are permanent now, all in the front lobby. So wow. there's absolutely like no human contact anymore going forward. Didn't it's say all someone glass. tried to come up and they're like, no, no, go away. Get out of here. Yeah, it's it's funny though, because when I come in the front door, I mean it should be secure anyway, but you come in the front door, then I have to like use my key fob to get through the first glass door and then I have to use my key fob to get through a second glass door I have to use my key to get into my office so I'm like okay I got like three three well actually four levels of protection now from the you, main doors everything you, know you got those annoying people that go out and smoke and people are like dude quit I hear fucking four beeps every like 10 minutes and, like, and, the fuck and door slam it. but um yeah so one question that I do have for you oh yeah real quick before we get off of that what Babe, what do you think, what companies do you think would be affect, not like affected and not affected, like, you know, in a positive, negative way? Like, mm, Well, I think, I mean, obviously with the service uh, industry, I think it actually might turn into a positive if, a, if businesses are taking um, kind of their, their chance now to expand on their delivery aspect or any yeah. other services that they can provide. So this may help some businesses grow. Mm -hmm. Others, unfortunately, may shut down completely that yeah. I've read. Um, the uh, the stripper uh, industry is uh, doing yeah, interesting I read, things. <laughs> yeah, they're doing, like, home delivery and drive through <laughs> lap dances. Yeah, and they're doing, like, public drive-by lap dances. They were doing it in Vegas. They had, like, clear... What? Yeah. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> they had clear... He said, wait, what? Said, huh? <laughs> I'm going to Vegas. No, they had clear That's boxes so where there were women that were so doing you strip mean, driving down the so street. So you mean, like, in, uh, not Germany, uh... 
uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam, that's down, how they is. We like walk. District. Yeah. So we have that now. <laughs> it's the new window shopping. Oh. Dear Lord, that's insane. I didn't know that. I know that's ridiculous. Like how? Okay, let talk. Let's talk, fucking talk about that. And how many dudes that like go to strip clubs all the time are like completely deprived and probably beating their wives? <laughs> Well, right. now, so well, now all the guys can stay at home and play video games and get a lap dance at the same time from six oh. feet away. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> like, is it about seeing... So it's not really a lap dance. Is it about seeing women get naked or is it about the, like, the, the, the personal connection for, like, you know, someone who doesn't get that? What do you think, Nick? Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's... Uh, I think it's about stimulating our local economy. Uh, yeah. wow. It's fucking stimulating <laughs> something for sure. Yeah. No, that, that's that's wild, man. I didn't even know that. That's yeah, insane. that's a little nuts, right? How 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 shitty of a person do you have to be, though, to be like, well, I'm I'm not essential to go to work, but these strippers they really need me, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see these strippers and not. Not maintain my six feet from everybody on the way. <laughs> Believe me, the last thing they're thinking about getting from them strippers is fucking Corona. Right. Yeah. That, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The amount, I mean, they're like, I mean, dude, I got for, herpes from this those. bitch. We're fine. <laughs> well, good we... for them strippers for identifying <laughs> an alternative God. income, I guess. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If we float your boat, Make sure to subscribe here. For more awesomeness in your ear holes, click one of these videos here. You just gotta follow the red arrow and poke it. Poke it real good. You're supposed to poke the video, not me, babe. I was.